what is the chapter number 74 and text number 5 om namo bhagavate vasudevaya ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोतम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथोजय मुदीर ये नष्टप्रायु अभद्रेशु नि भागवत सेवया भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवती नैष्टिकी रीडिंग फ्रॉम द श्रीमद् भागवतम कैंटो टेन चैप्टर सेवेंटी फोर द डेलीवरेंस ऑफ शिशुपाल टेक्स्ट फाइव न वै ते अजीत भक्ता न वै ते जीत भक्ता मम अहम माधवा ममी माधवा कवेती पशूना इव वैकृति पशूना वैकृति न वै तेजित भक्ता मा ममी माधव तवेती च नाना दीहि पशूना वैकृति न वै तेजित भक्ता ममी माधव तवेती च नाना दीहि पशूना वैकृति Mm. No, no, you can't change the tune. Tvam taveti cha nana dihi Pashuna miva vai kriti Navaite jita bhakta naam वैकृति न वै तेजित भक्ता ममी माधव तवेती च नाना दीहि पशूना वैकृति न वै तेजित भक्ता mothers mama ham iti madava tam taveti ta nana dihi pashuna miva vaikriti na not vai indeed te yo अजीत ओ अनकॉन्करेबल वन 
bhaktanam of the devotees mama aham iti mine and i madhava o krishna tvam tava iti you and yours cha and nana of differences dehi mentality pashunam of animals eva if vaikriti perverted translation o unconquerable madhava even your devotees make no distinctions of i and mine you and yours for this is the perverted mentality of animals please repeat o unconquerable madhava even your devotees make no distinctions of i and mine you and yours for this is the perverted mentality of animals can also be translated as for your devotees the animalistic distinctions of i and mine and you and yours does not exist also translate this as that for your devotees there is no conception of me and mine and only the conception of you and yours and uh, every other kind of mentality is only befitting the animals purport an ordinary person thinks i'm so attractive intelligent and wealthy that people should simply serve me and do what i want why should i obey anyone else this proud separatist mentality is also found in animals who battle one another for supremacy such a mentality is conspicuously absent in the mind of an advanced devotee and it is certainly absent in the sublime omniscient mind of the supreme personality of godhead नमो विष्णुपादाय कृष्ण प्रेस्थाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्तिवेदात स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वतीदेव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेषून्यवादी पश्चात्यादे सितारिणे श्रीचैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थापित येन भूतले स्वयं रूपकदाख्यम ददाती स्वतांक वाचाकलपतरोभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतीता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम जय श्रीकृष्णचैतन्य प्रभुनिनंद श्री अद्वैतगदाधा श्रीवासादि गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे थैंक यू वेरी मच सो दिस इज अ प्रेया by maharaj yudhishthir who is known as dharmaputra <coughs> he is a great devotee of the lord actually if we read mahabharat then people don't understand so easily that the panja pandavas were great devotees of the lord but when you read bhagavatam you come to understand that they are
great devotees of the Lord and he is giving a very high class realization because Yudhishthira Maharaj being a direct associate of the Lord is practically freed from all the material inebriates and he is saying that how the devotees think and exist, Vaishnavas. The Vaishnavas have no conception of me and mine. This is not simply a statement of dry renunciation, right? Oh, nothing is mine, no. Srila Prabhupada said in one uh, room conversation, that there are many sadhus to whom if you give money, they put their hands behind and say, no, 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 don't give it to me, I don't take money. But Papa says, but I say with both hands, give me the money and give me more. I will use it for Krishna. So, everything is used in Krishna's service. And that is the perfection of renunciation. Prapanchikataya buddhya harisambandhi vasuna mumukshubi parityagyo falgu vairagyam katyate. Prapanchikataya buddhya. Materialistic class of people think uh, that harisambandhi vasuna, things that are actually related to Krishna, they reject. Mumukshubhir, those who want liberation from material contamination reject things, oh, this is material. But the devotees, they actually know the relationship between everything and Krishna and they use it for Krishna's purpose. Now, it's a very simple understanding of this is that if there is water, we will offer it to Krishna. If there is rice, we will cook rice for Krishna. If there are fruits, we will offer it to Krishna. And if there is actually flowers, we will offer it to Krishna. It's a simple first stage of offering things to Krishna because everything belongs to Krishna. But if we retain the idea I am this body, I am this mind, I am this subtle intelligence, and I am this false ego by which the very idea of I is there. The very idea of I is not the soul, it is the false ego. But people think that this is the soul. They think that this I is the soul, isn't it? They think that without the soul, the I cannot be there. That is wrong. How well, in sense it's right. But there is a distinction between this I and the soul. So the actual path of growth in Krishna consciousness, Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Mandanam, Dasyam, Sakyam, Pujanam, it culminates in Atma Nivedanam. Atma Nivedanam means Atma Nivedanam means to actually separate the self from everything else and then to offer the self to Krishna. That is what we are here for. Just like if you go to, a, if you get admitted in IIT, then you study, you pass the exams, and you get admitted. Then you go with the admission card the first day. Oh, there are so many other fellows who have also been admitted. Oh, uh, Hare Krishna, how are you? Well, you know I'm from here, I'm there. Oh, what is your uh, sign, uh, branch you have taken? I've taken computer science. Really, I've also taken computer science. We are going to be friends. Can we share the same room? Blah, 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 whatever it is. You make friends. 
and uh, you settle down. Of course, you have to come at least a few days before the session starts and you settle down. You, you know, your parents come and leave you in the hostel. They leave you in the hostel and uh, people sit in the middle of the class, get up and go. class. Anybody else who wants to go can go, but others stay, stay. Ah. So, you get, get, and then you find out the mess and you go to the mess first today and you eat and this, and then you go and see the classrooms, you go to the department, you are electrical engineering, you want to go and see where is the electrical engineering department and you see where is the cricket ground and football ground. You get used to the campus, right? I like that. But this is the beginning. Like that, when we join the temple, we are, you know, somebody teaches you how to put dhoti kurta and how to shave your hair and how to put tilak. Isn't it? And uh, all those, you know, and you get to know, and then this is the Bhakta Ashram, and this is the temple commander, and and you know, this is, so you have to attend the morning program, this is how you have to go, and you make friends, you go to the Brahmacharya Ashram, take prasadam, this is the beginning. But actual education has not started. But if you simply think going from one building to another and this and that, that is all this, studying at IIT, that's not correct. So, you have to learn. Mm. It's okay, it's okay, don't disturb this. Why are you disturbing? You are trying to wake him up and disturb me. It's okay. So much. So, we must, you may have to learn what are further steps in going forward. And unless all those steps are clear and you make progress, then what's the point? So here, Yudhishthira is just, Maharaj Yudhishthira is going to the end of the first stage of Vaishnavism. Oh! To actually come to the platform of completely being free from I and mine. Isn't it? It's not so simple. We have in our parampara one uh, very rare but uh, advanced lady guru, right? Ganga Mata Goswamini, I think her name was. And she was actually initiated and trained by Namacharya Shilarida Thakur. And she did great penance and tapasya. I think she was even a princess or something, I don't know. The main point is, and she was so austere that at some point she went to Aridas Thakur and took his permission to give up the false ego. And once you give up that false ego, there is no more question of, you know, anything to be done in the external plane. There are no duties, nothing. The material matter cannot act on you. Right now, I have to take prasadam, I have to go and do this, I have to do that. These compulsions are there. And we are trying to dovetail it in Krishna's service by Prabhupada's mercy. If we were simply working outside, and the compulsions are there to eat, to sleep, how are we going to dovetail it with Krishna? We couldn't, we didn't. Most people don't. The whole Bombay doesn't. But Prabhupada said, no, I will give you a place and I will give you a way to live where you can dovetail these things. This is by Prabhupada's permission we get. So to give up that false ego means you become no longer externally aware. So she took the permission. Similarly, Mother Devahuti, another great lady in our Sampradaya, 
she gave up completely her false ego such that she did not even know whether she was wearing a dress or not and it is there in the bhagavatam her assistants and she was of course daughter of manu who was the emperor of the universe wife of kardama muni extraordinary they made sure that they're not complete and of course sukadev go swami so sometimes people in the material consciousness art- artificially copy the uh, this digambara munis are there their dig- digambara dig and ambara directions and sky are their dress not a simple thing directions you have to be highly educated to understand what is dik ashta dik because okay in modern mathematics that you learn and all that the basic idea is that of a position point particle and the direction is de- derived as a vector and all of that but in the vedic idea the direction is the fundamental thing so it's a science so digambara is a, is a, there are eight actual directions like you can see position no that that's a position this is a position there's also eight directions do you see them so it's there anyway so they artificially uh, we can we know when we come to krishna consciousness this is artificial we cannot just give up the external dress and this and that and everything but nor can you artificially reject it that's the goal even for vaishnavas to give up the sense of false ego completely very difficult it's closer than mind and intelligence mind is closer to you than even skin and closer than mind is intelligence and closer than intelligence is a false ego what is your name i'm so and so where are you from i'm from such and such a place what do you do all false ego ahankara vimudatma kartaha miti manyate we cannot artificially give it up nor can you artificially say it's not important we are now we are just engaging in krishna service everything is fine no very dangerous so devotees were going with shila prabhupad i think i've said this before i'll still say it and we're going in vrindavan and one de- devotee told shila prabhupad one fall disciple shila prabhupad this said there is a baba ji here he drinks only one glass of buttermilk every day and they thought prabhupad would say oh, i saw an artificial renunciation should engage you should take prasadam or something as much as you can lord chaitanya said eat up to this prabhupad said oh he said that's very nice said, it's very wonderful prabhupad said so then the disciple said yeah prabhupad but we can't follow that but we are preaching i said yes but you should be able to do that not that we are preaching and we are not capable of tapasya so tapo divyam so prabhupad class this wednesday and last wednesday also he was emphasizing that that when you get actual spiritual knowledge i'm not the body and spirit soul you will engage in tapasya up to the point of giving up eating nidra ahara vijitasya no nidra no ahara nothing one devotee was proper secretary a good friend of mine he, he, he told me that in the beginning when the temple was coming up 
in Montreal. They, were, they just had one small room where Prabhupada stayed, very small room with a uh, bathroom. And he said, I was sleeping on the floor and Prabhupada had a cot. And uh, in the night, Prabhupada suddenly woke up. I, at least I thought he woke up. And then he got out of the bed to go to the bathroom and I was sleeping and I somehow realized Prabhupada was up. So I also sat up and then I, Prabhupada went to the bathroom and I, I was sitting there chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare. And then Prabhupada slowly went to the bathroom and then he came back and then he saw him chanting and he said, Oh, so you are also not sleeping. <laughs> you are also not, that means Prabhupada was not sleeping. Although it appears like he's sitting there, he's closed his eyes, he's sleeping. And he's, he didn't know what to say, he just kept quiet. And then Prabhupada said, this is the beginning, 1967. Prabhupada said, go, oh, yes, there is no need to sleep, there is no need to eat. But if I said that, nobody will join me. So we have prasadam and everything else. But you have to give it up. That's not even conceivable for us. Isn't it? So, he's saying that this idea of my and mine don't exist for devotees. But in the temple also it, it might exist. Prabhu, that's my service, Prabhu. Prabhu, that's this, this. It's my office, this, that. It's not a matter of just speaking or it's not a matter. What I'm trying to say is that although we as devotees generally don't hold things because tomorrow some temple president says you leave this office and you go to another place, you do some other service, all devotees do that. So they're not attached. It's a fact. So there's a, some, already the degree of I and mine is greatly gone by Prabhupada's mercy. That is a fact. But the devotee is required and expected to be inquisitive and ask in what ways am I conditioned, why am I still seeing the material existence. So the sadhana part of bhakti, sadhana part of bhakti comes from tivrena bhakti yogena ajeta purusham param, tivra intense service. That intensity of service cannot come until you go to Prabhu Datta Seva. Seva that is given by His Divine Grace. Everybody not only can get it, they must get it. That's not taught in Iskand. Isn't it? It's not taught that you should get service from Prabhupada. Do they teach that? No. Prabhupada is dead and gone. So, uh, why do we say, why do we say that? Because Prabhupada said, in my presence you should not become Guru. So if you become Guru, he is no longer here. And the usual Iskand response is, oh, this is Ritzik philosophy. <laughs> this is actual philosophy, which they have misunderstood. You don't know anything, you know. And that's one of the biggest disservices the Ritviks have done. But as soon as you speak about Prabhupada, you're a Ritvik. <laughs> they've, they've, they've concocted a way to connect to Prabhupada. You don't know that. So, so I always make a distinction. When I understood a few days ago that the distinction I made is not understandable to people, so I'm going to make this distinction again. I was talking about Book Bhagavat and Person Bhagavat and normally people think of Book Bhagavat as Book Bhagavat and it describes Bhagavat persons and then Person Bhagavat. Book Bhagavat speaks about Person Bhagavat and Person Bhagavat speak about Book Bhagavat and there is no difference. Like I'm speaking on Bhagavat and like that. That's not what I mean. I mean there is a difference between Prabhupada that you know through his books and Prabhupada the person. Are you following? Prabhupada the books and Prabhupada the person there is sitting. 
everywhere, very big. So to connect through ISKCON to Prabhupada, the person is the goal, as far as I understand. If you don't accept, that's fine. I don't care. I'm just telling you. The entire ISKCON is meant to actually. Otherwise, this idea of we distribute Prabhupada's books, what value it has got? You read, you, you distribute Prabhupada's books, they read it and page after page it says you need a bona fide spiritual master and what, they should come to me? And then after that to you? Nonsense. People complain always, I'm not giving philosophy. But in order for me to give actual philosophy, I should teach you this first, first to clean all the nonsense that you have. But no, people will not, what can I do? Try to understand this. It's very simple. The entire ISKCON is set up such that Prabhupada says, through my books and my temples and my followers and my service in the temple, you can actually come to a point where I watch you and then if you are satisfactorily serving, then I give you service. When he gives you that service, whether it is sweeping the floor or making a little flower or doing scientific research or doing every, anything. It is an incredible life. 24-7, that's all you have to think about. That's the power of that service. Are you following? When you get that Prabhu, that they say, oh, there's nothing else you can think about. So beautifully given, because it is connected to the original nature of the soul in the spiritual world. Prabhupada has explained all this. So, getting that service is the way. So, this is the path, this is, this is the beginning of that service. You have to catch his attention. Yeah, this has to be trained and taught how to catch his attention. It's not even told, ah, you know, we keep on doing this, Prabhu. So, somebody wrote yesterday in the Temple President meeting, uh, WhatsApp group. No, Prabhupada's books are there, we got Gyan. And we just do service, Krishna will give Vigyan. Oh, I see, nothing else. Simple. So, this, now I have given you this, if you have taken this bitter pill, this is bitter for many people. Why oh, is he speaking like this? So, then I can now go to a little bit philosophy. I will give you some Siddhanta a little bit. These are all you can, you can just hear and you cannot understand. Just hear, that's all. You must learn how to only hear. Bring one book of Prabhupada, any book. Take care. And are you connected to internet? Yeah, connect. Whenever I give class, you connect to internet. But also any book of Prabhupada is here? Yeah, yeah. How is that? Hmm. It's all over. Thank you, Prabhu. So, uh, you see, this uh, this world, in case you, you did not know, is created by Krishna. But the world created by Krishna is a technical idea. It's a technical idea. So, how much? I will say a few things at least. Just to give you an indication. How this I and mine, you have to come out, we have to come out of it, not you, we. I. So, how to come out of this is that you have to do Tivrena Bhakti Yogena, then Divya Gyan Hrde Prakashito in the heart. So you read the books through your mind and intelligence. That mind and intelligence is covering the soul, and the soul is in the heart. Ishwara Swara Bhutanam Hrde Chaitit Arjuna. And then uh, Prabhupada can enter. Beyond your mind and intelligence, the soul, I can teach you. 
that's why we are singing every day divya gyan hrde prakat that's the knowledge that can take you beyond descending knowledge where is uh, what is that uh, where raja hamsa you came in where is that verse what is the number you tell him you can put it on the screen but prahlad dhruva maharaj you know transcendental knowledge which uh, give him the thing and he can put it up and prabhupad says that you have to go beyond descending knowledge it is there all of this are there in prabhupad's books what does it but we read and we just may not even notice therefore if you want to go beyond descending knowledge to transcendental knowledge prabhupad says and beyond transcendental knowledge is spiritual knowledge he says and he says dhruva maharaj is in transcendental knowledge and then he says there is spiritual knowledge what are we going to speak we cannot even stand in front of prabhupad nobody can we cannot make such statements they say oh prabhupad said just repeat what i have said <laughs> how can you even you have not even read these things you have not understood what you are going to repeat so we must always know there is so much to be learnt so uh, krishna is everything and krishna is everywhere but the living entities who are offensive like me in the spiritual world but not originally whatever it is it's not get into that topic then they want to be they want to actually be the boss of everything i want to be god therefore krishna has to create a situation where it looks like there is no god is everything i say gave the example just like if you want to see a movie they make a theater and make it dark and you go inside and sit and then like that the mahat tatva is covered and in the dark material world is created in the, that is also krishna and matter originally it can be thought of as separate energy of krishna or it can also be thought of as brahman 13th chapter krishna says another name for pradana is brahman but it is full of whereas in the spiritual world all the brahmans are fully aware in the material world all of our spirit souls are not aware please try to understand i am going for a very important point i am going to explain the origin of false ego a little bit or not that i know what what little i know i will say so kindly hear carefully because that is not something you can read and understand it's not possible so krishna and this is what the devotee gets as knowledge in the heart by serving his divine grace there is no other way yasya prasadat bhagavad prasado yasya aprasadat nagati kuto yasya prasada bhagavad prasado is applicable to all vaishnavas so many devotees preach to us right that by your mercy prabhu i have come to krishna consciousness so fact but suppose some devotee preaches to you in bombay and then you go to delhi you can do service there no problem isn't it you can't say prabhu now i am not in touch with you i am lost but wherever you go if you lose touch with prabhupad you cannot do service so while yasya prasadat bhagavad prasado applies to all the vaishnavas yasya prasadat nagati kutopi applies only to only to who ha huh? i can't hear you loud what doubt yeah but i didn't hear you couldn't say that you are worried right somebody will say why you didn't say guru maharaj isn't it correct or wrong nonsense no because there are so many guru maharajas who have also left but people have continued 
This is a problem. Once you get the wrong understanding, first a lot of cleaning has to be done. I'm very sorry. Maybe they will ask me not to give the class again, but that's okay. But you cannot understand false ego and all that without... You can't go to Siddhanta without the basics. So, Yasya Prasada, Bhagavad Prasada, Yasya Prasada. By His mercy, you can learn these things. Even though they are all in the books, you have to be... Therefore, Prabhupada in the second canto, Bhagavatam, Kya ho gaya, Raja Amsa? What you are searching for? How long? In the WhatsApp, my this thing, you put Dhruva Dhruva and see whether it comes up. Or the SB4. It was in kind of four. Just search for SB4. Anyway, so... Uh, by, by Prabhupada's mercy, you can get this knowledge. Therefore, in second canto, he writes, Prabhu, come and put 218. Put it on the screen. 218. Purport. Put the purport. Prabhupada writes that you cannot buy these books in the marketplace and read. It has to be explained to you by someone who is as good as Vyasadeva. Not a fool like me. Someone who is as good. Who is as good as Vyasadeva? Prabhupada. So, it is very important for you to know that not only you can, but you must connect to person Prabhupada. Are you following the distinction? Book Prabhupada is the basis by which you can connect to how oh, that secret is different. But now let me, if you just assume that, this knowledge comes. So Krishna is creating, and you must know that matter has got no properties. What is that? Matter has got? So loudly, what are you sitting here, you moron? Ah, no. Say it loudly, what did he say? Yes, matter has got nirvishesha, sunyavadi. That is why we are thinking every day. Nirvishesha, sunyavadi, paschatya desa tarane. What is this nirvishesha? Materialists. And who are the materialists who are celebrating nirvishesha? The matter has got no properties. Matter has got no color. Matter has got no smell. That is pradana. This is the beginning of our getting... Are you following? Matter has got no properties. It is called pradana. Into that prop matter that has got no properties, Krishna injects properties. You got that? But let it wait. But he, so read that very Prabhupada says. Give me, give me that thing. I can move it. And read. Please see the screen. Prabhupada is saying. Can you see this? Srimad Bhagavatam or for that matter any other scientific literature. That means he is saying Bhagavatam is scientific and other things if they are scientific they are also. Cannot be studied at home by one's own intellectual capacity. Medical books of anatomy or physiology are available in the market, but no one can become a qualified medical practitioner simply by reading such books at home. But Prabhupada is saying, distribute my books. For what? So that through book Prabhupada, they can come to connect to? Huh? Loud? This is is gone. If you know that, you are in Iskhan. Is nice or not nice? Good or bad? This, otherwise you can't understand this purport. It's all nonsense they have created. And then everybody is saying book, book distribution. Book marathon, book distribution. Well, we have also done that. Prabhupada said we are not UPS service. That we deliver the books and somebody asks what is in the book, that I don't know. Right? You get a parcel from the postman. You ask the postman what is in the parcel. He'll say, I don't know. It's not my job to know. You open and see. We can't say like that. We don't know what's in the book. You read. No, we are supposed to know. So Prabhupada said, we are not UPS service. UPS means United Parcel Service. 
in America. In India also it may be there, I don't know. We are not United Parcel Service. And you cannot understand these books by reading them. It is nonsense. So what I am saying is not coming from reading the books. It is coming from His Divine Grace. Now anybody has the guts to say that, let them say it. Are you following or not following? Yes or no? Ah. It's confusing, Prabhu. It's very confusing. Well, why is it confusing? Because you have got nonsense in your mind. So Prabhupada said, I have to wash it. Similarly, Srimad, so no one can go and study this in their home. Similarly, Srimad Bhagavatam, the postgraduate study of the science of Godhead, can only be learned by studying it at the feet of a realized soul like Vyasadeva. Who is the realized soul like Vyasadeva in Skan? So his own books, of course, some people are saying, no, when pra books means the, the original Bhagavatam, purpose, purport is, you can, no. That's also not different from original Bhagavatam. So the distinction to be made is not between Bhagavatam and Bhagavatam purport. Purports we can understand, no. The distinction is between, actually, the book Bhagavatam, book Prabhupada and person Prabhupada. So unless you come to the... So ISKCON is meant for you to graduate. He is watching you. And when you are sincere and he is satisfied, he will come to you. Then you can actually learn from someone who is as good as Vyasadeva. Wow! This is the goal of life. Are you following? You are going to try this goal or not? Or you are thinking, every day I will come and I will jump, jump up and down and I am going back to Godhead. No! Yasya prasadat nagati kutopi. You got to understand this Siddhanta. Very, very important. This whole movement is meant for presenting Prabhupada. That means when we distribute books, we should know that by reading these books, they will come to Iskan and they will serve. That is a must. But that's not the end, that's the beginning. And then when Prabhupada is pleased, he will connect to them. One way connection. He will call, you cannot call. So some people say, oh, if he's put this philosophy, then everybody will say, Prabhupada has spoken to me. Yeah, everybody can say, but where is your brains? Krishna is here, you know, in person. Krishna can talk to you. So why not everybody say, Krishna is talking to me? No. There are people who, who will immediately call you a bluff if they know. So there has to be people who have connected to Prabhupada. And they should approve, yes. Isn't it? Otherwise, you just can't come and say something. Somebody came to me once and he said, I'm, I'm, I'm starting some Ayurveda thing. In BA he came. I said, yeah, how come suddenly you're starting? No, I feel Prabhupada is telling me. I said, all right. He said, you do one thing. Just leave this BA floor. Never come back again. Do what you want. I said. He was shocked. I said, you haven't done anything and now you're claiming that Prabhupada is telling you, what, you think I'm a fool? So there, is a, there are lakshanas for these things, but this is the fact. Just because somebody might say that, oh, I'm talking to Prabhupada, we cannot say Krishna, I mean Krishna, we cannot say Krishna is not here. Krishna is here, if he wants he can talk, but for you to claim that, you got to be really big shot. So Prabhupada said here, who is as good as Vyasadeva, Where is this? Purport. Yes, yes. One to capacity. Medical books of anatomy. One has to be the guidance of learned professors. Similarly, Srimad Bhagavat in the postcast today, the science of Krishna, no internet can only be learnt by studying it under the lotus feet of a person who is as good as Vyasadeva. So in ISKCON we should know that this condition can be satisfied only if we understand person Prabhupada. Okay, this is the basic Siddhanta, I am just reiterating it. So Krishna, so matter has got no properties. 
So when you see this is brown, this is white, this is saffron, this is material. But these properties don't belong to matter. I'm going to make a very important point. Please stay with me. You know, are you all following what I'm saying? So now if person Prabhupada, I'll give two examples. And you will never know such things by reading book Prabhupada by your power. Reading books by your own mental power is punya. It will give you great benedictions. You can go to heavenly planets. But if you want to understand and get free of material existence, then person Prabhupada must be connected to. That's all your meditation must be. Hey Krishna, hey Nandusuta, they are going. Same thing you have to say, where is Prabhupada? Where is Prabhupada? Anyway, this is the, when you come to ISKCON, this is what should be taught first today. You have read the books, you have bought them at home and you have studied. And due to your past Sukriti and the Prabhupada's mercy and due mercy of devotees, Yasya Prasada, all the Vaishnavas were preaching and everything. You have understood it to the extent that you now want to follow this process, right? That's good. But now in ISKCON, you just keep that separate, whatever you have understood from the books. Now, there are those who have learnt it from the professor himself. Not there are people who are with the professor. No, no, no. That nonsense we don't want. <laughs> Going full, full blast attack. This has to be attacked. But when the, this, this, this will go on for the next 10,000 years. Not that people were with Prabhupada and say he's dead and gone. We don't want the cheating. Yeah, I read yesterday there was one video, somebody said, distributing Prabhupada's books is so special and it creates a spiritual atmosphere. I said, what? What nonsense is that? What spiritual atmosphere will create? Anybody can read that and blabber anything they want? No, reading, distributing Prabhupada's books is so special because anyone who is halfway decent and not an animal and who is grateful will actually develop love for Prabhupada and slowly, slowly he can connect to Prabhupada. That's the importance of this. Anyway, I'm getting... So, Krishna, this matter has got no properties. So, it is described in the Rig Veda, Sattvata Upanishad. Prabhupada quotes it in the seventh chapter of Bhagavad Gita. Vishnu Sitrini Rupani Purushakyani Ato Viduhu. Vishnostu? How many rupas? Three rupas. Yekanto Mahato Srishti. The first Vishnu creates matter. That's the job of Mahavishnu. What matter? Mahat. So this, what is that first uh, this thing? Pradana is Krishna's energy. Out of that, Mahavishnu creates matter. Can you imagine? That requires Mahavishnu. And matter means that which is perceivable. It has got qualities. And it is these qualities in matter that makes you become entangled with false ego. This is, this is the science of Krishna Consciousness. You have read this in Prabhupada's books? But it's there. That's, the, that's why I'm giving you an example of something you can stand upside down, you cannot know. There's nobody in the movement who can say that, know this. If they said, then they should say the same thing. Prabhupada, person, Prabhupada and book bar, Prabhupada. So Prabhupada has said, I've given everything in the books. But you cannot understand, because he said, you cannot buy it at home and read. But of course you can read with your Sukriti and Krishna's mercy and Vaishnava's mercy and Prabhupada's mercy and every, everything is there. But the purpose should be there. So this Mahavishnu creates matter, Mahatattva. Isn't it amazing? Nobody else can create matter. Only Mahavishnu can create matter. But even Mahavishnu creates Mahat from where? From Pradhana. And Pradhana is whose? Krishna's. 
So Krishna is the source of everything. Aham sarvasya prabhavo matas sarvam pravartate. Now, in that matter, how does Mahavishnu produce the qualities? He also invites Krishna to enter. Because only by Krishna's presence, matter can have qualities. Just imagine what is the supreme position of Krishna. Prabhupada says this is the beginning of Shantabhav. What is the difference between impersonal realization and Shantabhav? In Shantabhav, impersonal realization, you simply have no more material attachment, but it, there's no positive conception of Godhead. But in Shantabhav, you have extraordinary understanding of the greatness of Krishna, Prabhupada says. So those who are in Shantabhav are also floating in incredible ecstasy. Not that they are not in ecstasy. And that ecstasy is because they are realizing by Krishna's mercy more and more. Krishna is great means nobody can understand. So even that is why when Aditya, um, Advaita Acharya came, he said to Krishna, you please come, I cannot present you. You have to understand who is Krishna. Okay, nine, nine o'clock, oh yeah, no, 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 started. This is the verse. So, this Mahat, in which Krishna puts the qualities, how does he put it? That's a science. By that science, in matter, there is thinking. By that science and matter, there is intelligence. By that science and matter, there is tanmatras, feeling, willing, sense, taste, smell and all that. By that, what did I was saying? By Krishna's presence. Also in matter, you got form, body. Everything Krishna. Therefore, Krishna simply says, Rasoham apsu kaunteya, prabhashmi sajishu. He says, just say, everything is me. No one else can say that. No one else can say that. You know, I, my mother was only second class studied for a long time. Isn't it? She came to America when I was living there to see me. And I started just going to the temple in 78 or something. I just going to the temple. So that Sunday I told her, we were in Flint. I said, I'm going to the Detroit temple. You want to go? She said, yeah, Tim. of course. She's very pious. Sri Vaishnavite lady, not like me. I'm a rascal. So we went and I went out of my house and there was a gas station. I stopped there and I put gas and came back, got into the car, started it. And I had gotten a big bag the previous week from the temple. So I just again took that and I, I was just chanting and driving. My mother said, what is that? I said, it's a big bag. I said, what do you chant? I said, I chant this mantra, Hare Krishna mantra, 108 times this one round. I, you know, we are supposed to chant 16 rounds, but I'm chanting right now only 8 rounds. Anyway, we went. Uh, she liked the Sunday feast and all that. It was nice. We came back. Next day morning, I went to work. I came in the evening. Then I, I, my mother had cooked something. And then I asked her casually, did you try to chant today? She said, yes. I said, how many rounds? She said, 16 rounds. I said, what? 16? I'm not doing anything, I'm just sitting here all day. She never stopped chanting 16 rounds till she left her body. There's no comparison between me and her. So what I'm saying is, one day I went to Chennai. Whenever I went to Chennai, in those days I'll meet her. She's no longer alive, but uh, I mean, I'll go. she's a devotee, first of all, I have to go and see. So then what happened? My eldest brother was there. I asked him, are you chanting Hare Krishna? He said, no. I said, why not? He said, do you really want the reason? I said, yes. See, we don't believe in all this Krishna chanting, dancing. We are Sri Vaishnavites for us. Narayana is the Lord. I said, well, why don't you chant Narayana's name? Ah, that's a good question, he said. That I must do, I'm not doing. But if I chant, I only chant Narayana's name. He said, all right. Then I asked my mother, Mother, you are also Sri Vaishnavite. How is it you are chanting Hare Krishna? He said, yes, I also wanted to ask. 
Why you are not chanting Narayana's name? We are Sri Vaishnava. Why are you chanting? And my mother gave an answer that just blew me out. <laughs> of course, it also blew his mind. So she said, oh, I don't know. She said, uh, uh, I don't know anything. But only thing is, I have uh, grown up hearing Harikata, all Ramayana, Mahabharata, everything. So many Harikathas we hear. Because when I was a child, even 70 years ago, every day everybody only heard Harikata. Everybody, even in a city like Madras, there was only Harikata. She was saying, but nowhere I have heard anybody say I am God. Only Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, I am God. So I accept. So the Paramatma, and I couldn't have given that answer. So she was chanting, Vasudeva Bhagavati Bhakti Yoga Prayodita Janayate Asu Gyanam Chavairagya Medahe to come. So why I am saying that? What was the point I was saying before? Before I, I went into some other. Anyway, so Krishna is the source of everything. Krishna is God. It's not a joke. So Prabhupada said, people think God is great, but they don't know how great he is. So in all trillions and trillions of universes, matter has got no qualities. And then Krishna is entering them. That is also described in Bhagavatam in the creation. You may not have missed it when it is said that all the demigods entered, everything, nothing worked. Brahma created everything, but nothing was moving. Nothing was alive. Just because there is soul and just because there were demigods, nothing was alive. The world was dead. Then the Lord entered. Then the world became alive. That is all there. So, Krishna's entering actually creates the world of color and smell and taste and intelligence and mind. Everything is Krishna. Therefore, Krishna says, Vasudeva One who understands that Vasudeva is everything, he can surrender to me, not everybody. Samahatma Sudur Labaha. Very rare. So don't think you can read and then speculate all this. And nah, it's not that anybody and everybody says. Only those who have made connection with person Prabhupada should give the class. Now, another good news for you. Otherwise, what is it? You are reading, I'm reading, everybody can speak whatever they want. I call it a green glass knowledge. You are reading through your green glass, mind intelligence. Prabhu, you are, you are five years green glass. I am fifteen years green glass. I am senior. No, you are also green glass. You got to go beyond. Hmm, put that particular word. You have to go beyond. Huh? So, can, can you read? Thank you. You are doing very good service. Thank you so much. So, Konsa, verse, chapter 4, 12, 19. So, Prabhupada says, there are different levels of acquired knowledge, purport. Direct knowledge, knowledge received from authorities, transcendental knowledge, knowledge beyond the senses, and finally, spiritual knowledge. These are all different levels. You cannot just get it by yourself. When one surpasses the stage of acquiring knowledge by the descending process, he is immediately situated on the transcendental platform, transcendental knowledge. But beyond that, there is knowledge beyond the senses and beyond that spiritual knowledge. Dhruva Maharaj, being liberated from material concept of life, was situated in transcendental knowledge. You imagine Prabhupada's position. Not to be publicly said. Are you following? Following or not? Huh? Not complete. Are you following? There is something here that you don't know is being said. That's all. What? Not completely. What? Is there anything you have completely understood? Then? Not completely. You don't understand anything even incompletely. Why don't you understand that? Somebody at that day, one devotee came, he met me outside. Prabhuji, I've been hearing your classes. I, I just want to learn more of the science. You know. Then I said, uh, have you come to the second floor? He said, no. So why don't you come there? Yeah, I would come and uh, I think I would like to know what scientific research is being done. I said, no, 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 no. 
that's not uh, that's not what how you should approach we want to know what is the scientific research going on that's not right that's like saying i'll go to the temple to see puja is doing puja no puja is doing puja because there is krishna there you are going to the temple to see krishna so we are doing scientific research is not important you should think that oh i go to the second floor krishna is revealing himself through science here he is revealing himself through archa vigraha in the second floor he is revealing himself through science that is how you should approach so you go to the second floor you can see krishna but through science and then we are doing that i am doing research is like i am doing puja that's that's okay it's also important but that's not the main point the main point is krishna so how is krishna revealing through science this is so this various uh, properties are coming but those properties even in modern science they know we cannot establish that that they are in matter let me take some more time it's very important i don't want to leave it hanging because everybody says i don't give actual knowledge so i'm giving am i giving actual knowledge or no huh not only i'm criticizing i'm giving actual knowledge i am of course also criticizing why shouldn't i <laughs> of course i will criticize means will of prabhupad for his sake there's a description in a kaudiya vaishnava literature of jagannath baladev subhadra lord nityananda comes and drags baladev from the altar he says get down get down he say why why should i get down my altar he says no this is a say a time for lord chaitanya you all get down he'll come and say so many is a long story beautiful story why i said that you try to understand what is this connection to prabhupad anyway are you following what's your name prabhu raksha ha huh? prabhu ranjan yeah very nice which class are you studying 11th 7th very bad ha huh? vasai very good so uh, these properties you know, for example according to modern science i give a simple example blue color is some frequency some wavelength but if you measure the wavelength you won't get the experience of color scientists know that the blue color the blueness of the color can be is only in the person who is seeing it although the blue wavelength is there are you following this point blue so this is known in science so but of course this it's a deep point but i'm just putting it so in matter whatever properties are there cannot be proven to be there unless you experience it exactly like if in a book you you buy read a book novel people buy novel you are read a newspaper newspaper has got news newspaper doesn't have news until you read before you read it has got only ink and paper but it's not just a bucket of ink and a bucket of paper it's connected in such a way that when you read it you will get news the science so it is not the, the body is not just simply five elements in one bucket earth in one bucket water in one bucket fire in one bucket like that no they are connected in a machine in such a way that when you the conditioned soul who wants to dominate matter like krishna and who wants to compete with krishna not you me when i come to this material world then when i see this world all properties are there otherwise it's a dead world are you following amazing so you are seeing krishna but we don't know this is how krishna created a world in which he doesn't exist even though he exists everywhere how brilliant is krishna just see are you following so so 
creation is the engineering process by which the imperceptible matter becomes perceptible to the soul so there is a book that book has got some information but it is external to you but when you read the book you get some meaning that's very much closer to you it's still not you you yourself can write a book you yourself can give meaning but that is a different matter but when you read the book the meaning you get is closer to your nature like that when the soul interacts with the matter at the level of false ego then there is what is called consciousness which is not a property of the soul it's in the matter it's coming through krishna and but when you read matter you get this idea i i i this science is there i'm just giving a overall thesis you cannot read anywhere it's all in his book so try to understand if you want to get spiritual knowledge if you want to surpass this, we are only celebrating descending knowledge isn't it arohaka pantha prabhu we don't accept arohaka pantha we arohaka pantha we but that is you have to surpass it because avaroha pantha you have to get necessarily through your mind and intelligence green glass knowledge when you want to surpass it divya gyan hriday prakashito then you can get transcendental knowledge spiritual knowledge this is a science this is why krishna consciousness is a science are you following following or not how many people are following so many people how many people are confused so whoever is confused means insincere because i'm not asking how much you understand that at least you should follow the overall process what is being said you don't even follow the overall idea then why are you putting your hand up what confusion is there is a nonsense somebody gives you hot milk with uh, haldi and elaichi powder and milk and everything and you drink how is it nice so you like it i'm a little confused really what are you confused your job is to drink the milk and say it's hot nice that's all no i am a little confusing you know there's a <laughs> you nice milk with nice elaichi powder and nice haldi and nice sugar and nice saffron malai pista anyway you can't afford you have to you have to become a eager to know more and where is the source for more not a fool like me i am just uh, reflected glory whatever you have start me something to do my service so i know but i'm i'm not keep so it's consciousness is actually proper said symptom of the soul like if you if you take the uh, material newspaper you can do any chemical analysis you will never get news you cannot do some titration and then say the news was today no you have to read so the fact that there is news in the newspaper is the symptom of the presence of the reader similarly the fact that there is consciousness in this material body it is a symptom of the soul but the consciousness is not coming from the soul any more than news is coming from the reader it's coming from the person who wrote the newspaper so this is the beginning point i wanted to give one more thing but it's 925 uh, next time you remind me second example and this is example of knowledge which is beyond huh beyond descending knowledge exactly this is a shock isn't it all is gone must be very shocked but his divine grace has written it are you following or not it's not that prabhu said you just read the books and then repeat prabhu pad said read the books and repeat so that you can understand you know nothing instead we have interpreted i will just repeat i am guru the baby proper said he hears from the father this is a microphone then he repeats it then what he says is perfect 
then we are thinking like, so then we will say, I am I'm not the body, I am spirit, soul, and Krishna is supreme personality of Godhead, and what I am speaking is perfect, and now I am the guru, please come and wash my feet. No, I don't think like that. I, I will think I am... Who is the idiot? I think I will be a nonsense if I think like that, for myself. I don't know about others. No. I rather think that but the example for I understand is Prabhupada says the baby said is a microphone, but the baby know, does not know why it is a microphone. The father knows. So when I speak, like I have spoken so much, I have no idea whether I spoke is right or wrong. He knows. So this class is so that he will be pleased, not that you will be pleased. But you are thinking this class is for you. That's why you're thinking is confusing. No, I'm not giving class for any one of you. I'm giving class to glorify His Divine Grace. I see Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. You follow? So, Prabhupada is indirectly saying, the child doesn't know anything, I know. Because if somebody tells the child, Oh, Krishna, is, this is microphone, what does a microphone do? Child doesn't know. Papa, what does the microphone do? Oh, you tell him, microphone amplifies sound. Microphone amplifies sound. Oh, really? What is amplification? Papa, what is amplification? You have to go back. Krishna created the world. Scientists will ask you, how did he create the world? Papa, how did Krishna create the world? That's my position. But I can give much more Bhavana than others. I can put on a show. No, I don't put on a show. Are you following or not following? So you want to preach or you want to put on a show? Stop making show. I know something, I'm pre preaching. Oh, he's my Siksha Guru. What? Who is your Siksha? He's giving you Siksha, he's not your Siksha Guru. My grandmother would give medicine, she's not a doctor. Doctor is different. <laughs> it's just because you give Siksha, you are not Siksha Guru. What nonsense is that? What's going on? I have not even begun my attack. Don't think that all complete, all nonsense, all of you, just cheating. Yourself and others. Cheaters and cheaters. So be very careful. Okay, this is a class for devotees. We are not saying you don't preach. Preach, of course. We have to go and preach and we have to get people, they have to chant, yes. But know your position. The more you advance, the more you will know your position. Are you following? I'm still confused. Or maybe you wanted to become a guru, that's why you're confused. Is it? All Hindus, cheaters, all, they've been gurus for many lifetimes, cheating gurus. All of you, all of me also. So be careful. This is not a time to become a guru. This is a time to become a disciple, a real disciple. Any questions or comments? I didn't even start the class on this. Bhagavatam verse. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Uh, thank you for the wonderful insights. There's one thing that I'll... Thank you for the wonderful... Insights. Insight? Singular. Insights. Ah, <coughs> plural. Yeah. Yes. So... Uh, I've thrown thousands of ideas. Insights. Srila Prabhupada disciples yeah, used to ask Prabhupada that when you leave the body, how will we associate? Then he used to say that I, I will be present physically in my books. So how can we understand in, the statement? How, how can we? Understand the statement that he is present in his books. You are not qualified to ask such questions. When I speak, I'll speak. I'm not obligated to tell. It's some nonsense you are saying. Prabhupada said this, Prabhupada said. You don't even know what Prabhupada said. Put the actual quote. When I say Prabhupada said, I put the actual quote. And you have to study it. Word by word. It's not possible to understand. Prabhupada. If you, uh, this is why I got the book. So let me do this. So you just open the book. Here is. 
it is by great fortune, Prabhupada is writing purport, that one comes to Krishna consciousness on the path of Bhakti Yoga to become well situated according to the Vedic direction. Now don't think you can understand. You cannot understand this sentence. So read again. Now you, I'll keep on reading, you'll suddenly see something you never saw. If you don't see it and you keep saying confused, that means you are a cheater. It is by great fortune that one comes to Krishna consciousness on the path of Bhakti Yoga to become well situated according to the Vedic direction. Wow! Now we just read it. You just read like a novel. And something sticks because he is so great. Even into my dirty mind, something sticks. And we give class. I'm preaching. I'm distributing books. Everything is fine. Don't have this illusion, that's all. It is by great fortune that one comes to Krishna consciousness on the path of Bhakti Yoga to become well situated according to the Vedic direction. Wow! What a sentence! How many points is Divine Grace has put here? And I don't understand any of them. But it's great. It is by great fortune that one comes to Krishna consciousness. So he's saying, Prabhupada is saying, it's by great fortune that I have come to this process. Wow! On the path of Bhakti Yoga, because it's on the path of Bhakti Yoga, it's a very important point, to become well situated according to the Vedic direction. So I have to become properly situated according to the Vedic direction. You can become like this. He's saying basically it's authorized. What I'm saying is perfect and authorized. And if you have got great fortune, you'll come into this. And when you come into this, you'll be on the path of Bhakti Yoga and situated according to Vedic direction. No concoctions, nothing. So you simply go on reading, Prabhupada. Don't try to understand. How am I to understand, Prabhupada? How, are you so great? You know, Einstein created theory of relativity. Do you ask, how can I understand? You have to be qualified, no? So why do you think that you can just ask this question? Are you following what I'm saying? We don't have adhikar. Please try to understand. These are all must be taught. Are you following? Seva adhikar diye koro nija dasi. Every morning we are singing. Seva adhikar diye. Give me the adhikar. Not that just because I have come and joined and some new bhakta director said you can join the temple and you are in the new bhakta ashram, you got seva adhikar. No. Seva adhikar, I have given the example. You can't go into uh, some office. Right? And say, I'm, I will clean this place. Can you do that? Can you go to some Ambani's company and say, Reliance company and say, I want everyday sweep here, please, uh, I brought a sweeping uh, broom, I will sweep. Can you say like that? They won't even let you inside. Even to sweep, you have to have adhikar. So unless we have adhikar, we cannot understand Prabhupada. So we are trying to get adhikar by chanting and dancing and taking prasadam and preaching and distributing books, which are all wonderful activities. That I am not criticizing. But I am saying, under all this is the assumption that I am understanding Prabhupada's books is greatly wrong. Are you following that point? Is it okay? Yeah. It's a good question. I am not saying it. It's a good question, but I am giving a detailed answer. It's very important. I'll take one more question if there is there. Yes. Is your son? No. Okay. What's your question? What is the question? Quickly ask. Reading books and uh, like having the transcendental knowledge in heart, like I want to ask. Like uh, there are so many... Reading books and what? Having a transcendental knowledge in heart. Not having. Giving. Yeah, giving. He has to give. Okay. So, uh, before ISKCON also there were devotees and uh, the people who don't can't read, who are, those who are illiterate. So, they are also pure devotees of God. Okay. There are so many examples. There is no devotee of God who is illiterate. That's nonsense. 
Illiterate means material for materialism. Parents. No, materially there is nobody who is illiterate. Th those who don't, never went to school, those who can't read even Bhagavad Gita and Bhagavatam. But that doesn't mean they are illiterate. They know everything. Vasudeva Bhagavate Bhakti Yoga Prayojita Ga Janayate Asu Gyanam Cha Vairagya Miyadakai To Kam. Prabhupada says if you are doing devotional service, you must have full knowledge. And if you don't have, something is wrong. So I just want to ask about material knowledge and devotion. Is there any like, uh, means... No, that, if it is, there's nothing like material knowledge. Do you say, is there, what is the difference between material money and Krishna's money? Is there a difference? No, you collect money from all kinds of materialists, use it for Krishna, finished. So material knowledge used in Krishna's service is transcendental knowledge. There's nothing like material knowledge. Somebody is using it independent of Krishna, it's material. If you use it for Krishna, it's spiritual. This is not material, this iPad. Is it material? It's used for Krishna, we're reading Prabhupada's purpose, it's spiritual. So Prabhupada gave that example. Knife used by a thief is bad, knife used by a surgeon is good. Those are all basic elementary points, why are you raising those points? They are all simple things. I am making the point. I am not saying we are not preaching, we shouldn't preach everything. But I am, this is for, this class is not for outsiders, for devotees. That you have to learn how to go further and further and for this there are many levels. Are you following that? That's all. What is material, spiritual and all, you cannot know. Prabhupada knows. Are you following? Yeah. Gantara Srimad Bhagavatam ki jai, Srila Prabhupada ki jai, Bhot Premanandi.